Nagarajan from Tamil Nadu shows him where he has taken it and Rock Pereira throws the ball long backwards to City, the goalkeeper. City, ball is it clear towards his left flank. Peter City, he gets his foot to it, but off his foot, the ball is already over the touch line. So it's a throw in for Dempo. Zeva Colasso taking the throw in, throws it to Valentine, and as Valentine tries to get away from. Peter Siddiqui, the ball goes for Peter Siddiqui's foot for another throw in for Tempo, about 15 yards inside the Salgoka half. Colasso again to Valentine, but Valentine is pushed there by Peter Siddiqui, so it's a free kick for Tempo. About 20 yards from the corner flag and about 2 or 3 yards inside the western touch line. Referee Gulab Shavan makes sure the free kick is taken from the right place by standing there. Meanwhile, the Salgoka um, defenders form a two-man wall of uh, Uday Kona and Peter Siddiqui. And Valentine puts the ball inside Peter Uday Kona towards uh, the top of the box, uh, headed here by Frankie Beretto, comes to in the midfield, but uh, Bruno Coutinho facing his own goal, punts the ball high and over the eastern touch line, about um, 20 yards from his own corner flag for a throw-in for Dempo. Throw-in being taken by Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo takes the throw in into the box, headed there by Derek Pereira, the captain of Salgauka. Comes to Bruno Coutinho. Headed here by Francis Barua, again to Francis Coelho. Francis Coelho punts the ball forward. There's a vacant lot of gaps in the Dempo half, and Ude Kona goes up. He has to wait for someone to come up for him. He crosses the ball there. Francis Coelho, the right back of Salgauka, is the most advanced player of Salgauka there. And, but he's not able to get to it before Salim Mansari hits the ball away over the Goal line for a flat kick. Flat kick for Salgauka. I think it will be Bruno Coutinho coming from the right towards the left to take it. He's ambling along slowly. Play has in the first semi final has been progressed for nearly 30 minutes. Oh, just over 30 minutes. Just over 30 minutes. Salgauka leading by one goal. Bruno Coutinho to take that corner kick. Valentine, the nearest defender, and we see here now that it goes past the far post, where it is cleared away, comes in outside the box, Domingos was tackled there by, um, uh, tackled there by Surmani, ball comes in the midfield, Dere off Derek Pereira's head, it drops down to Rock Pereira, who clears it into midfield, where again now it is Shantakumar robbed of it by Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez is tall, midfield, central midfielder, and he passes it to Peter City. He's slow on the ball. He robs of it by Valentine. Comes down to Surmani. Surmani to Camilo Gonzalez. The Dempo skipper on the right flank there. At one time, Camilo was one of the fastest players, but um, he hasn't uh, the same speed now. It's now with Michael Gomes, the, the length man of uh, Tempo. It is a very risky thing for Salim Ansari to trap with his foot and then clear it. The ball was played by Salgauka, so he could have really picked up the ball, but he tried to be a uh, little more uh, risky about it. He tried to trap it, and lucky for him, the ball, so he could clear the ball before Uday Konar could uh, block it. From the clearance ball now with Dempo, Dempo to Sir Marcus Cavallo, hooks the ball over Francis Coelho, but better to seize it, but better to lose the ball to Marcus Cavallo, Cavallo to Hitocha, who said that not well, cleanly hit, but lobs it into the box there, comes down to Shantakuma, again a poor shot, but less time, ball still bobbing in the east, Salgoka half, cleared away by uh, Norbert Fernandez, Robert Fernandez to uh, Uday Kona, sees Christopher coming, cuts him inside, inside Christopher, chips the ball there, towards the top of the goal area, but uh, no one could come to him before Salim Ansari could try to go, Bruno Coutinho tried his best, so from the clearance by the goalkeeper, ball comes to Salgauka half, uh, headed here by Francis Coelho to drop um, to Francis Silvera off the ball there, and so comes Rock Pereira. Rock Pereira to Peter City, he on the left flank there, he goes inside uh, Diego Colasso, but loses the ball to Shanta Kumar because there's no Salgauka player to take it, and from there the ball is punted to Shanta Kumar to Marcus Cavallo, the top of the box there. 
now with Rock Pereira. Traps it on his instep, gives it forward to Bruno Coutinho. Traps by facing his own goal. Between Surmani and Valentine, he pushes the ball to Peter Siddiqui. Peter Siddiqui has been very slow on the ball, trapping the ball very badly, and he loses the ball there. It's Dempo, and Dempo now, as Francis Silvera turns the ball towards for Marcus Carvalho, and the ball is played away there by Derek Pereira to put off Sidi. Sidi was moving towards on the wrong side of when he was put off, he had to recover to come back, and then you can see it there now because the ball was headed there. And Peter City, I mean, City has to turn back to collect the ball before uh, um, before Marcus Cavallo could get to it. It was a very close thing for um, uh, Falgauka. That could have been an equalizer if uh, uh, Peter City had moved at least a couple of yards ahead, and not would have been difficult for him to recover to pick up the. Uh, that um, header of uh, Derek Pereira. There was a misunderstanding, but the misunderstanding did not cause them any problem. Now, ball with Hitoche. Hitoche now pushes the ball there, but not straight to go to the uh, Salgaga defender. He passes to alone, clears it, comes outside the box there. Sally Mansari comes out, traps, and plays it out to Surmani Singh on the left. Surmani now punts the ball, headed here by, headed down by. Derek Pereira to Robert Fernandez, his, top, his uh, central linkman, back to Francis Coelho, punts the ball forward from Bruno Coutinho. Bruno Coutinho and Surmani in chase, Bruno Coutinho just gets a foot to the ball, but it goes off Surmani's foot for a flat kick for Salgaoka. Tempo, surprisingly, has not been able to control play in midfield. They should be playing a little more in midfield. Initially, for a while, when they could not, as Falgauka fell back in defence, they were not able to find an opening in midfield. They were playing with the ball within, within themselves, but without any penetration, without any um, threat to the Falgauka defence. And from now, from the flagging, Bruno Coutinho takes a return pass and crosses the ball towards his left flank. But Peter Sidiki and Uday Kona are ahead of the ball. The ball goes past them over the touchline, the western side, for a throw-in, from the throw-in to Valentine, Valentine to Salim Ansari, Ansari to, 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 to Zira Colasso, the right back who's come into midfield there, who plays it out to his left back, Francis Gorua, Francis Gorua, to Francis Silvera. By back pass, Gorua not able to control, the ball comes to Christopher, Christopher tries to find his, if it's on the left, headed here by Domingo Vaz, Domingo Vaz to to, to Michael Gomes. Michael Gomes leaves it to Francis Coelho's right back. Short pass there to Gomes and dangerous pass there because Hitocha could have intercepted it but didn't. And the ball comes off Coelho to Derek Pereira. Derek Pereira to Domingo was intercepted there by Francis Barua running down the left there but he's not able to keep the ball in play and goes over the goal line for a uh, goal kick for Salgaoka. There's a substitution now for uh, Salgauka, it is Peter Siddiqui coming off and Anthony Travasso going in. This is a substitution that could have been expected because uh, Peter Siddiqui was out of the depth in this match because he was not able to, um, he was too slow to receive a ball or to control a ball or even to anticipate the passes. So he was losing the ball more, um, more frequently than any other Salgauka player. So he's been replaced by Anthony Travasso. Meanwhile, the ball with tempo. Shantakumar, Shantakumar out to his left for Marcus Cavallo to chase. Marcus Cavallo chases over the left, left flank there, gets inside. Francis Coelho crosses the ball but goes straight to City at the near post. And City collects the ball well, throws it out to Anthony Travasso, the newcomer. Anthony Travasso trapped, uh, tackled there by Valentine. And Valentine gets the ball and slides near the touch line to keep the ball in play but not able to keep it. And the ball goes over the goal line though for a goal kick for Salgauka. Salgauka leading by the fifth minute goal scored by Bruno Coutinho, the former India skipper. And it's about eight minutes to go for half time and whatever wastage time is to be added on. Frankie Berrettin, the right stopper, takes that goal kick towards Domingo Vaz, who heads it backwards over Ikocha Singh towards uh, Francis Berlewa. Ure Kona chases the ball, not able to get to it. Ball comes back in the midfield. It is Valentine who gets the ball away from Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez still has the ball. I mean, Valentine has the ball there. Tries to find Marcus Cavallo on the right flank there, who gets away from Rock Pereira, but Derek Pereira comes across and 
slides to put the ball over the touch for a throw in for Dempo. Marcus Cowell throw to Valentine. Valentine being there uh, brings down Anthony Travasso. So free kick for Salgauka halfway inside their own half. Near the western touch right that's the left flank of Salgauka. <coughs> I see now Frankie Beretto coming across from the right stopper position to take that uh, free kick. As much time as they can get, as much breathing time as the Salgoka can get to keep that one goal lead. So from that free kick towards Christopher with the shaven head who helped it away, goal comes down to Michael Jones. Michael Jones not able to get it and the ball played back to his goalkeeper. Salim Ansari, and we see there now Michael Gomes heads the ball, he comes inside, Shantakumar heads the ball, drops into the box there, but before uh, Salgaoka, Bruno Kutino could get to the Salim Ansari, collects the ball. Passes Barua now with the ball, gives it now to Itocha Singh, Itocha Singh, but he's got down the Domingo was for a free kick just at the top of the circle inside the Salgaoka half, played backwards to by Valentine, Valentine the Sumani, punts the ball there to um, Marcus Cavallo heads it backward into the box there, cleared away there by Frankie Barreto over the touchline on the western side for a throw-in being taken now by Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo to take a throw-in, throw into the box there towards Valentine, headed away by Derek Pereira as uh, Valentine troops in front of Derek Pereira to some um, sort of a dangerous play. So it's an indirect free kick for Saldaka inside their own half. Valentine scooped in front of Derek as Pereira as Derek Pereira was trying to hit the ball away. This indirect free kick for Salgaoka. City plays it out of the box to Frankie Pereira. Frankie Pereira being challenged by Marcus Cavallo, sends the ball into the Salgaoka half with Christopher going back to chasing it, gets the ball away, tries to get away from Koda, dribbles him and gives it inside to Francis Barua. Francis Barua, that pass there to Zebra Colasso, intercepted there by Bruno Coutinho, Bruno Coutinho coming in front of Surmani, but he is tackled there by Hitocha. Hitocha gets a shift over the ball and it comes to Zebra Colasso. This is just another instance of uh, this, uh, the laxity and the tempo defense. They have been playing rather risky passes casually with one of the uh, Salgaoka players in you close enough for it to be intercepted. And we see here now again that now they cannot pull the floor offside by the assistant referee. Now they no more call linesman, but assistant referee, assistant referee, um, assistant referee Haridas playing from Manipur. In direct free kick, Surmani taking it for Dempo for 10 yards outside the box, sends it high towards Marcus Cavallo, but Rock Pereira comes inside him and has it away into the touch, into touch, throw in by Zebra Colasso. Colasso to Shantakuma, back to Colasso, back to Shantakuma, tries a triangle of pass, but it cleared away as Rock Pereira comes in front of him. Um, uh, Marcus Cavallo heads and clears it away towards the corner, but the ball goes off, I think, off Surmani. No, it is off Uday Kona, himself because linesman has not put his flag up against us. So from Salim Ansari, ball down to Barua. Again a bad pass, risky pass there. No need for it because there was no one on Barua and Barua could have played the ball quite comfortably. But he plays the ball to Shantakumar to run quite the distance to keep the ball in, in position. And from that, Barua to Hitocha, again not well struck, ball back to Barua, Barua to Christopher, Christopher to the Shantakumar. All play in tempo half with only one Salgaoka player, Dude Kona, harassing them and from Surmani to Christopher. So, tempo with about just a little over three minutes to, for the interval, is still playing quite um, uh, calmly, not in, no, not in any hurry. So, Barua goes down the left line there, crosses the ball there. Valentine has to come outside the box to trap it and plays the ball backwards to Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo to Santa Kumar. But Santa Kumar sets the ball into the box there where it comes of Derek Pereira's foot and Siddhi collects the ball towards his, uh, as he moves out to his right outside the goal area. Siddhi, wall is it clear, high towards Christopher. Christopher heads it down to beat um, Uday Kona, but the ball comes to Bruno Coutinho. Salgaoka has only two strikers, but the two strikers are given a lot of leeway by the four tempo deep defenders. 
We get a lot of leeway, they're not so closely marked. And you see here now, there's some kind of tussle between Christopher and Uday Kona, while Sangsal Gautis, well, I think now it is Ashanta Kumar being pulled there by Robert Fernandez. And ball comes now to um, Uday Kona. Uday Kona is now pushed down there by Christopher, but it is Robert Fernandez who's on the ground there. He probably tripped over Shanta Kumar as he passed the ball to Robert Fernandez being pressured off. Now this is another thing now because uh, the player cannot be treated on the field. Most of them are stretched off and uh, you see here now Robert Fernandez. Now Uday Kona is being trapped, but it is Uday Kona gets up, but it is Robert Fernandez who was on the ground after being trapped there. So Uday, Robert Fernandez has been carried off, whereas Uday Kona is still on the field there, goes to challenge uh, Christopher as he receives the ball from Surmani. Ball comes to Zero Colasso, Colasso to Santa Kuma, who punts the ball, headed by Valentine. Valentine to Santa Kuma. Again, now Derek Pereira clears it to the header. Comes Surmani. Surmani to Hitocha. Hitocha traps it without step. And as he tries to play the ball back, he is now um, charged there wrongly, unfairly, by Domingo Swart, who is an indirect free kick for Dempo, about 20 yards, 20 to 25 yards, 20 yards from the top of the box, top of the Salgaoka box. So free kick for Dempo. It remains to be seen if Dempo can equalize in the last minute of this first half. We have one goal down. Salgoka having scored in the fifth minute through Bruno Putino. And we see here now Christopher pushes the ball towards Surmani. Surmani checks his stride. He didn't run onto the ball. He was shaping around to the ball and strike it firmly. But uh, after two or three steps, just a step before he has to contact the ball, he checked himself. So we knew the rhythm of his uh, attempt was broken and the ball was not connected properly and the ball went on past the far, far post for a goal kick. Goal kick taken by Frankie Barreto. Christopher lets the ball go past him to his goalkeeper who has come outside the box, places his foot towards left back Francis Barua. Barua now to Silvera who come back. Silvera um, played for India as a halfback but here he plays uh, this tournament. He's played for Dempo only as a striker. Ram Shanta Kumar the ball down the left to Marcus Cavallo back to Hitocha. Hitocha now tackled there by Domingo Swart and the ball goes uh, off Hitocha's foot over the goal line for uh, goal kick for Salgaoka. Salgaoka leading by one goal, first half into injury time now. It's injury time almost about 30 seconds of injury time. And we see now City plays the ball for the goal kick for Frankie Barreto. Frankie Barreto. Sends the ball towards Bruno Coutinho, headed there by Francis Berlua. Goes towards the eastern touchline where um, uh, Itocha traps it and there goes the referee's whistle for half time. So it was 50 seconds of injury time in the first half. At the end of the first half, 50 seconds were added on for injury time. And uh, with this, um, the teams, the players are coming off the field for their interval. As I tell you now, Coming off the field, the, the officials too are coming out together. I see here the the five, um, but the seven sub, the seven players of um, Dempo on the bench here, whereas Salgaoka, every one of them and Goran, which which I think is a wise thing for Salgaoka to do because the Salgaoka substitute would be watching the play and also be have some pointers to to their colleagues who have been on the field and who probably would not have been able to see all that uh, the substitute could have seen from there. And you, and you see here on your screen now the Taj Mahal Hotel and the ground, I said the ground, because uh, you see here now the, the first goal, I think this is the first goal, Uday Kona coming in, cutting inside, and as he falls, but he regains the step, and Salim Antari is drawn away, but the ball, so the ball is now uh, crossed there, and as the defender tries to head the ball away, the ball, it is Colasso who tries, Colasso tries to head the ball away. The ball comes off it, but drops right in the goal area for Bruno Coutinho to come in and drive the ball home for the only goal of the first semi-final of the 96th Rover Cup football tournament. It's not been a very, very, um, not a match of top quality so far, because these two teams generally turn out good stuff. But uh, off late, we must admit 
that Salgaukar and Dempo are not the foes that they were, say, about four, 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 to, four to five years back, or even about seven, eight years back, when Dempo and Salgaukar were much stronger than what they are. Then, in fact, Salgaukar in the late 80s and perhaps in the early 90s were one of the stronger teams in Indian football because under Shanmugam they won the Federation Cup twice, they won the Rose Cup once, and I think they came, they lost the, the third time they were playing the Petition Cup final, they lost the Kerala Police, uh, uh, were very few vacant places. But now we see here now, Michael Gomes on your screen, coming with the ball in the green shirt, he punts the ball forward, Uday Kona chasing on the right there, comes to the move that led to the goal there, Uday Kona coming towards the goal line, inside the box there, being tackled, he loses his balance, but he still moves. he's quick enough to get up as Turmani and uh, Salim Ansari come towards them, plays the ball back to Domingo Vaz, and as the ball is crossed there, Zive Kulato rushes to his goal line, hits the ball, tries to hit the ball over his goal, but the ball comes off his system, while uh, Christopher and Francis Barua uh, uh, put the head down desolately. Franz Bruno Coutinho had come inside and got his foot to the goal to drive it before any of them could stop it. So that was the goal that you saw on your screen now, the goal that is. to the chief guest. You see a tempo in white towards the clubhouse hand, defending the clubhouse hand in the second half, where Saladaka towards the, the in, in all green, in all green, with only the goalkeeper in red. 
will be defending the northern end. That's the Rajabai Tower. And you see here now the, the MP and former Chief Minister of Goa, Churchill Alamo, who is the man behind the Churchill Palace, being escorted onto the field to be introduced to for the kings to be introduced to him. And uh, is there a the only thing is, um, I think Churchill Alamo, Mr. Churchill Alamo will know every player from these rival teams by name. He would have met them, every one of them, because uh, he's such a keen sport, football fan and he has his own team and his own team, uh, he comes to watch them um, practically every match and he sees all the opponents too, so he would be knowing all the teams that play in the lower league and also outside against Churchill Brothers. Now, you see, he's being, uh, he's, uh, the Salgaoka team is being introduced to him. And, and then on to the referee, the assistant referees, and the standby referee, and then to Camilo Gonzalez, the Dempo captain of the Dempo team. Churchill Alamo, an MP, and also a former chief minister of Goa, very, very, very um, uh, keen on sport, especially for the and he has gone, he spares no expense to get top class players. In fact, if we must say, this team is the one from Goa which has got the most uh, players from all over India. They have players from Maharashtra, they have players from Africa, they have also players from Kerala, they have also a player from Punjab. So that is the, um, the, the broad outlook he has got. All that he looks for is perhaps a, a good team, a good team that could bring a lot of credit and a lot of glory to Churchill Brothers, Goa football and Indian football. And now for the start of the second half, We have Dempo to kick off now. Kick off now. First half, Salgoka kicked off, and now we see here the Dempo to kick off. Let me see if there any change in the in the team in the lineup of the two teams. Um, there doesn't seem to appear to be any so far in Dempo's, nor do I see any in Salgoka. So the lineup is more or less the same. So I'll just go to the lineup for you again for Dempo Rumbo as a kick. There was a kick off. Goalkeeper is Salim Ansari. Yes. Right back for them is Ziva Colasso. Right stop for Christopher. Left stop for Surmani. Left back uh, Francis Barua. The half backs are Valentine, uh, Shanta Kumar, and Itocha Singh. The strikers are um, Marcus Cavallo, Camilo Gonzalez, and Francis Silvera. He's telling you that the Xavier Colasso crosses the ball towards Francis Silvera, but taken away by Derek Pereira. The, the, uh, left stopper and captain of Salgaoka, a former international. Rock Pereira clears the ball down, was trapped there by Christopher, hurried there by Bruno Coutinho, still has the ball near the touch line, punted towards uh, Valentine, cleared away by Rock Pereira, towards Ure Kona, Ure Kona loses his balance, and the ball runs to his goalkeeper, Salim Ansari. For Salgaoka, in goal, it is Juju Stridi at right back, it is Francis Coelho, uh, right stopper Frankie Barreto, left stopper um, playing a little behind is Derek Pereira, left back is Rock Pereira, the right half is Domingo Zwas, Cent the centre of the, the, one of the two centre halves is Michael Gomes, the other is Robert Fernandez, and the left half is substitute Anthony Travasso who is coming for Peter CTC, and the strike, two strikers are Ode Kona and Bruno Putino. The two strikers are then been quite mobile, he is switching flanks and position to keep the Dempo defense on the allies. Dempo goalkeeper Salim Ansari takes up the goal kick towards Itocha, who heads the ball as he moves backward to his own goal, trapped over Francis Coelho. Coelho turns, gives it to Domingo's Vaz, and as Domingo's Vaz waits, Itocha comes on to him and tackles, but the ball goes of Itocha for a throw in for <coughs> Salgoka. Salgoka to Francis Coelho takes a throw in five yards from the halfway line towards Udeko. Now Udeko now, now pushes uh, Francis Barua, gets away with it, and the ball is played towards uh, Dempo deep defense, and it goes off Christopher's foot as uh, uh, Christopher's foot as Michael Gomes comes on to him. It goes off Christopher's foot over the 
goal line for a flag in the first flag kick of the second half for Salgauka. First flag kick of the second half being taken now by Salgauka's um, striker Bruno Coutinho. Bruno Coutinho, a former India captain and current international, of course. Coutinho taking from the right corner flag. Sends the ball towards Uday Kona, but Surmane helps it, comes back to Bruno Coutinho. Bruno Coutinho drafts it, moves past Shantakuma, tackled there by Surmani, loses the ball, the ball moves backwards to Shantakuma, who plays it forward to Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo is not quick enough and is taken away by Frankie Barreto, but Frank, Frank Marcus Cavallo raises back and jumps and kicks the ball over the touchline for the throw-in for Salgauka. Bruno Coutinho, and tackles slightly hurt, I think, but he will pick up all right. The throw-in being taken by Bruno Coutinho. Salgorka, one goal in the lead, goal having come in the fifth minute of the first half through Bruno Coutinho who takes a throw in, headed by Francis Bolua, comes down to Robert Fernandez who crosses it as he folds, the ball goes over the goal line on the far side, goal kick for Dempo. Dempo still not been able to really build up an attack. Surprisingly, they're not quick enough in the attack. Quick enough to receive the ball and be, and move into the attack too. And we see Xavier Colasso on the right flank there, moving into the Saldoga half. But no one giving him support to take position. He punts the ball, kicks the ball into Robert Fernandez. Ball comes down to Valentine. Valentine also kicks into Robert Fernandez. Ball comes down to uh, Rock Pereira. Rock Pereira inside to, to uh, Domingo's Vaz, who clears the ball now towards his left flank, but Uday Kona takes it away from Xavier Colasso and the Surmani comes to win near the corner flag. He doesn't look at the ball running away from him and the ball goes over the goal line. That is, he took his eye off the ball and didn't see the ball running off out of the play. So it's a goal kick to Tempo. Tempo goal kick to Christopher. Christopher gives it inside to Shantakumar. Shantakumar now punts the ball towards the left flank for Marcus Cavallo. Ball goes behind Marcus Cavallo with the run back not able to keep it and the ball goes outside the goal uh, touch line for a throw in for Salgauka. Salgauka to take the throw in being taken now by Francis Coelho. Francis Coelho the right back takes that throw in headed there by headed there by Domingos Vaz. Domingos Vaz now take it. Domingos Vaz now this time the uh, 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 Coelho's throwing cleared now, headed and cleared there towards Xavier Colasso, the tempo right back, moving up slowly, gives it inside to Christopher. Uday Kona runs from behind, tries to challenge him, and as he comes from behind, Christopher plays the ball right into the feet of Derek Pereira. Derek Pereira moves up and taking a bad pass. Doesn't see Valentine right behind, coming rush, rushing back from behind and loses the ball as he tries to pass to Michael Gold. Now, Dempo on the attack now, but not very well. And the ball cleared away by Rock Pereira. Ball it clear, comes to Xavier Colasso, gives it inside now to Shantakumar. Shantakumar traps it with his chest and now back again to Xavier Colasso. Colasso, Christopher. Christopher, with Uday Kona, but close by, plays the ball forward to Shantakumar, but 15 yards are in front of him. Shantakuma punts the ball towards the left flank inside the box for Marcus Cavallo, heads it, but uh, Frankie Berardo comes from behind the Spanish Silvera and heads the ball over the goal line for a corner kick. Then for the first corner of the second half, Valentine will take it. Valentine coming from, Valentine coming from the right and he will take it. <laughs> Placing the ball in the quarter circle. Domingos Vaz is low flat kick and the ball goes off I think Bruno's foot and headed there by Sulmani, ball hits the crossbar and comes down and cleared away. It was very close for them, just about, you see it on the picture there now, it goes off the Bruno's foot, comes to Sulmani who dies and hits the ball, comes to the crossbar and then comes back into play from where it's here to the midfield. Ball now with the tempo, uh, tempo penalty area. A uh, Dempo penalty area, but it is uh, Anthony Trasso who dropped the ball there on the left flank. 
Bruno Gutino goes across to take the throw in, going slowly for it. On the left flank there. That long throw into the box. Headed there by Christopher, comes to Valentine, traps to the outstep, turns it inside for Shantakumar. Shantakumar, sorry, goes, goes away from one of his, uh, from Michael Gomes, but loses the ball to Derek Pereira, who comes up to intercept. Out to Bruno Coutinho on the left flank. Cut inside Valentine and tries to leave it for as uh, Robert tries to take it away. He's put off the ball. Ball to Derek, Derek to Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez again now to, to Uday Kona. And Uday Kona is now stamped on him, stamped on his eye by Christopher. Christopher gets away with that foul. Just only a free kick near the touchline on the, le on the far side from us with the left flank of um, Selgawker, breaking to be taken now, I think, by Peter Fernandez. I mean, sorry, yes, Peter Fernandez. I'm sorry, Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez. He... No, Robert Fernandez moves away from the ball, and Bruno Coutinho is going to take it. Robert Fernandez comes towards the top of the box, into the, the arc at the top of the box there, and he moves towards uh, Surmani. So Surmani is marking him, and the ball comes off Christopher's head, goes over his head towards the for a far touch line, and it's a throw-in for Salgaoka, just near the corner flag. <coughs> Bruno after taking that free kick at the, at the other touch line, comes, runs, comes and jogs along to, to this touch line, a good 60 yards to 70 yards to take this throw-in. Maybe it's part of the tactics to, um, to use up time I wouldn't say waste time, but the use of time as much as possible for him to take, come over and take the throw in. Salim Ansari. Run that goal kick. Ball comes to Robert, who heads it. Tapped away by Christopher, headed here by uh, Frankie Barreto. But um, Uday Kona not able to get to it. It's Xavier Colasso with the ball. Coming towards Frankie Barreto, loses it there to Anthony Travato. Anthony Travato to Uday Kona in his own half. Being challenged by Christopher, comes inside Christopher, speeds away from him, checks himself and leaves the ball for Bruno Coutinho to take it away. And Bruno Coutinho now being challenged by Chanda Kumar, chips the ball towards his left flank, whereas Anthony Travasso, Anthony Travasso away from Sumani, turns away from Sumani towards his left here. And then as he tries to take Sumani, slides and clears the ball away. Ball still with uh, Salgaoka, but Salgaoka, Frankie Barreto to Rock Pereira. Rock Pereira having a good game there at left back, good defensive game. To Silver, Silver to Camino, not able to tap it properly. The ball pops up there and headed there by, um, by Frankie Barreto down to Derek Pereira, who lets it go to his goalkeeper, City. No one on him, uh, though Silver had now tries to go towards him. And City collects and throws it out to Francis Coelho on the right flank here, just near the touch line, back to, uh, back to Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez now forward pass. Headed down here by Surmani towards Christopher in the middle. Christopher to Xavier Colasso. Shallow pass into the Salgoka half to Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo to Valentine. Valentine tackled there and the ball put out by Frankie Perez for a throw in. Valentine takes a throw in to Marcus Cavallo. Back to Valentine. Valentine moves inside, left footed center, comes towards uh, Domingo's Vaz and Domingo's Vaz heads it but he's pushed from behind. He's pushed from behind. So it's a it's a free kick for it's a free kick for them. I see now Manohan was a player right behind Domingos was. He has come in for Itocha Singh. Manohan has come with Itocha Singh. It's obviously tempo now are uh, throwing more men into attack because Manohan is not only his more a winger and striker than a midfielder though he does play. Uh, as much in midfield, but he's more a uh, strike-oriented player. So, a uh, striker, more a striker. So, Christopher to Francis Barua. Three here, lot of gap here. Christopher now to Francis Barua. Barua now uh, raise the ball towards uh, Manoran. Manoran with Frankie Barrett right behind him. And Tommy goes vast in front of him. Tries to dribble goes now. I'm sorry, it's Coelho. And he gets the ball onto Coelho's foot. And he centers it. And Francis... There's a very fine centre by Francis Baru, uh, by Manoran and headed there by Valentine and the ball comes into the goal area but Francis Silvera is pulled up for a side. Francis Silvera heads the ball 
it goes off cities, diving cities, and outside, but meanwhile, Francis Silver has been flagged for offside. That's uh, 13 minutes of play gone in the second half. Salgaok is still leading 1-0, and uh, Tempo to take the throw in. Francis Barua with the ball, moving into the middle, challenged by Bruno Coutinho, play, relays the ball backwards to Christopher. Christopher traps out to Rubia Colasso on the right flank. Colasso crosses the ball into the middle there, headed there by Francis Coelho, comes to Valentine, Valentine lifts the ball up at his head, but Marcus Cavallo crosses it over the crossbar, so no danger to Salgao. Good move by Tempo, two good threatening moves, both involving substitute Manoharan. The first was headed away by Domingo Zwas as uh, Manoharan was sneaking in behind him. And the second, Manoharan's very fine center headed by Valentine, center back from the goal line, headed at the top of the box by Valentine to, to, to Francis Silvera, but Silvera was offside even as he headed. The ball now with Robert Fernandez after it comes from Coelho. Francis, you know, Robert Fernandez punts the ball towards the left flank, vacant left flank for Anthony Travasso. Travasso to Rock Pereira. Rock Pereira gives it inside to Michael Gomes. Michael Gomes square to Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez challenges up as Shanta Kumar. He sends the ball down the right flank for Domingo's Vasu. He gets the ball near the goal line, crosses it, but crosses it badly and sends the ball out of play. It's the second or third time that Domingos Vaz has wasted a chance when he could have crossed the ball to a, to, to a striker come running in to make the cross. Salim Mansari presses the ball for the goal kick. He takes the goal kick himself, sends it to Camilo, not able to trap it properly. Rock Carrera clears it, comes to Francis Coelho. Ball is it clear? Uday Kona, but Uday Kona, I think, Uday Kona, but meanwhile, I think it's a handball by Francis Barua from the free kick. We take it now either by Francis Coelho or by Derek Ferreira. I think it's Derek Ferreira who's coming up to take the free kick. About uh, 10 yards inside the tempo half, he pushes the ball along the ground of Uday Kona. Uday Kona skips over the ball as Francis Barua right behind him, but um, Bruno Coutinho not able to get that goal and the goal goes travels out of play over the goal line for a goal kick for uh, to be taken by Salim Ansari, the tempo goalkeeper. <coughs> Salim Ansari into midfield, headed by Robert Fernandez and uh, it's allowed to go back to his goalkeeper by Xavier Colasso. Christopher on the right flank, the right back position, Xavier Colasso in the, in the stopper. But I think they just switched positions temporarily, and I think now Xavier Colasso might go back to his right back position with Christopher coming. Now, or perhaps Christopher has now decided to shadow Bruno Coutinho as a Xavier Colasso only in support for that. But meanwhile, Domingos Vaz has sent the ball on the outside for Uday Kona being challenged by Zeb Surmani. Surmani slides to get his foot to the ball, and the ball goes uh, off his foot for a corner. The linesman. Nagarajan points to the corner, corner, and it will be taken now by Salgaoka's uh, former India skipper, Bruno Coutinho. Bruno Coutinho to take that corner kick. Incidentally, Bruno has been taking all the corner kicks and uh, many of the throw-ins too. Bruno Coutinho, hard work man, hard working player, is also hard work today. Bruno Coutinho. And the corner kick towards the far post is Salim Ansari jumps and puts it out front of the corner. This time, again, Bruno has to go all the way from this corner flag to the corner flag on the opposite side of the field. And Valentine, uh, very nice, uh, uh, very cleverly, doesn't want to waste time, so he picks up the ball and keeps it on the corner for the on the spot for the corner to be taken. <laughs> Bruno Coutinho. Low corner, headed there by Surmani, to the top of the box, comes off Michael Gomes' head to Francis Coelho. Clear, wallet clear now with a scissor kick by Christopher. 
to Valentine. Valentine, the Marcus Cavallo on the right there, but he's challenged there by Derek Pereira. Still keeps the ball on the right flank there. The two defenders on him, plays the ball back to Valentine. Valentine challenged by Rock Pereira. The faints past Rock Pereira, gives the ball inside, but cleared away by Francis Torrell at the top of the box there. Cleared this time from the midfield by Michael Gomes to Surmani. Surmani to Xavier Colasso on the right back there now. He crosses the ball, headed here at the top of the box by Derek Pereira. Comes to Valentine. Valentine leaves it, loses it to Bruno Kuti. Now Bruno Kuti to Anthony Travasso. The substitute left half gives it a short pass inside to uh, Robert Fernandez. Through to uh, Michael Gomes. Michael Gomes to Domingo Zwasu. Comes in the right back, right half position. Leaves it for Michael uh, to Ude Kona. Ude Kona tries to get away from Manoharan. Manoharan stays his distance over there Kona, but Ude Kona still has the ball under his control and Domingos was not giving him position or width so Uday Kona has to go it alone because no one could come to his assistance and as he tries to get away from him it's again a corner as the ball goes to Francis Barua's corner again for corner again for Salva. This time the corner is being taken by Uday Kona, the, the youngster who joined them this year from Tessagoa. Ude Kona Good corner kick Headed clear by Christopher as uh, Francis Coelho comes in from the thing but Francis Coelho flashes his uh, flashes on his head and Christopher's head flash and Francis Coelho goes down on the ground inside the Bempo box so we see here both of you on the ground there and the medical men are being called in to attend to him, the stretcher is being carried on into the field. As I told you earlier, now injured players cannot be taken on the ground, except perhaps the goalkeeper. And that, as you see here, he is being put on the stretcher and he is going to be carried off as Francis Barua comes away on his screen here. And meanwhile, what you don't see on your screen is that most of the players take some kind of a, a little bit of water to refresh themselves after all this exertion, after all their exertions. So the stretcher, the player being carried off Francis Coelho, and we see here now, this is where the incident again shown in the screen, Christopher and Francis Coelho go for the header and clash, and Francis Coelho comes down on the ground and later was being carried off. And now, from the uh, clearance, the ball comes into, into the Saldoka half, where Camilo is pulled up for a foul on Derek Ferreira. There's a free kick. Free kick uh, being awarded to them, but to Salgauka, just about, about five yards from the top of the box. Frankie Barreto tries to take it too far ahead, but he still hasn't got far ahead from where the incident occurred, the foul occurred. Gilad Chavan, the referee, allows it to go on because uh, it will uh, be wasting time to be too strict. From the free kick, the ball comes all the way to goalkeeper Salim Ansari as Uday Kona could not get to it. And Chris Clearance, had the trap here by Sir Domingo Zwas, comes to Uday Kona. Uday Kona gets the ball over Manoharan. That tries to get away, cuts on his outside. And, but he is uh, brought down by the Manoharan as he is pushed down. Manoharan is being shown a yellow card. Manoharan sarcastically claps his hand. Claps his hand. There you see him. Brought down, Uday Kona being brought down. Free kick being taken now by Peter, I'm sorry, Robert Fernandez, the central Salgauka midfielder. Manoharan is the lone wall there, lone player in the world. And the free kick cleared away by Christopher comes back towards feet. Robert Fernandez. Robert Fernandez tries to kick round Manoharan and the foul as he kicks Manoharan. So it's a free kick for them to halfway inside their own half. Free kick, Manoran holds his face as he's hit on the face by Robert Fernandez attempt to kick the ball. It's Francis Barua. And the nice thing here, Shanmugam, the Salgauka coach, goes up to give first aid to Manoharan, his rival player. And we see here the Dempo coach come up to give some first aid to Christopher, who was also injured in the clash with, uh, uh, with Francis Coelho. 
Meanwhile, play goes on, and it is now all the set. Uh, Udekona, Udekona speeding down the right flank there. Christopher in chase. And Francis Vodo comes across there, and he squires the ball there, but no sell of the player. Gary is within reach of it because he was not in the position to play the ball backward because Francis Bolu was running a close, so he played the ball square and struck him. Uh, Bruno Coutinho and the other player, I think it was Michael Dome, both were, uh, Domingos was, were both uh, far behind, so they were not able to reach the ball. The ball went over the top and the far side. Meanwhile, I see a substitute being getting ready for Salgauka. Edwin is. is is getting ready to come in for Salgaoka with the su second substitute. The second substitute coming in. Edwin will come in now. I'd like to wait and see as to who is going on. I think it's Francis Coelho is out. The injured man been replaced by Edwin. <coughs> right back. Francis Coelho had a fairly good match because he let nothing pass by on his side. And he was supporting his um, um, his uh, stopper back very well, and also coming into midfield occasionally, link up with his linkman, uh, with his midfielders. So he had a good game, had a good game so far. But he's off the field now, injured, and Edwin has come in as his replacement. Christopher with the ball, getting away from Ude Kona, gives it, uh, gives it on the outside to. Uh, Xavier Colasso, Xavier Colasso to Christopher, Christopher Squire to Turmani, Turmani moving up the ball, pushing the ball through, but Dobin Bozwa sees it coming, before Manor can get to it, he steps in front of him, gets the ball away to Michael Gomes, Michael Gomes loses the ball as he's not prepared for it to Francis Silvera, Francis Silvera, but the ball now with uh, Dempo, Dempo is with Shanta Kumar, Shanta Kumar pushing the ball forward, and there we see here, it is um, Marcus Cavallo who's pulled up for uh, bringing down Edwin, Mora, Edwin there inside the box, so it's a free kick for Salgaoka. Tempo perhaps thought that it was the foul was the other way around, but the referee ruled otherwise. It was Marcus Cavallo who had pulled down Edwin, who had pushed down Edwin just outside the box into the box. He pushed him, so from that free kick by Frankie Berardo, it goes off uh, Francis Baru the tempo box where Ude Kona challenges Christopher and Christopher plays it back to Salim but Salim delays clearing the ball and the ball was between Ude Kona and Salim Ansari which is not a good position for the goalkeeper. He was trying to get a goal kick by playing it off for Ude Kona but the youngster very smartly let, did not allow the ball to touch his foot and it went out for a corner kick. From the corner kick by Bruno Coutinho to Domingos was a short pass. Domingos was center. Goes of um, um, goes of a tempo player. I think it is Surmani. No, not Surmani. It goes of Manoharan. So it's a corner kick again for Salgaoka. This semi-final has not risen to any great heights. Salgaoka definitely having the better of the play because they have been more, more on the attack, more inventive too. Meanwhile, the, the corner kick was headed there by Peter, by Robert Fernandez, sorry, he always get Peter, is Robert Fernandez, headed there, it is uh, stopped by a defender, comes down, coming the was, he takes a shot, it goes straight along the ground to goalkeeper uh, Salim Ansari, who dives forward to collect the goal. From the clearance, ball on the right, right flank in the Salgauka half. It's uh, Marcus Cavallo who goes across to take that uh, throw in. From the throw in into the box, there. Derek Ferrer heads the ball up and it is uh, now with uh, Michael Gold. Michael tries to clear it and it comes to Marcus Cavallo who tries to cross it. The ball hits uh, uh, Robert Fernandez on his back and goes out for a throw in about 10 yards from the corner flag. On the far side from us, that's the tempo right flag. From the Marcus throwing, headed back to Marcus, and he crosses it, and as uh, Silvera comes into, charges into head, he charges into the goalkeeper, City, and he's pulled up for a foul. And in any case, the ball went off Silvera's head, 
out of play, but before he contacted the goal itself, he had fouled Sidi, and the foul was called by referee Gulab Chawa. So the only thing is they take the free kick from outside the goal area, whereas the foul was on, almost on the goal line. From that free kick ball comes in the tempo half, where it is played back to Christopher, Christopher to Barua, short diagonal. The Barua, Barua moving up into the Salgaoka half, gives the ball inside the Camilo, Camilo switches the ball to Manoharan, but Manoharan's pass comes of Derek Ferreira into midfield and this is Salgaoka now. Salgaoka in position, trying to travel, so moving past the Shantakuma, but not able to keep the ball. Shantakuma takes it away from him, and, but as he delays, he robbed of the ball there, and uh, the ball comes to Francis Barua, hits it down to Shantakuma. Shantakuma switches the ball towards his left flank for Francis Silvera. Francis Silvera kicks the ball inside, but no, he just goes outside as he traps. <laughs> and it's, um, it's a throw-in for Salgoka, about 10 to, 15, 10 to 12 yards from the corner flag on the western touch line, being taken by the substitute, Edwin. Edwin throws it to Domingos Vaz. Domingos Vaz tackled by Manoran. Place it to Derek Pereira, who clears it into the middle, where it is Xavier Colasso. Xavier Colasso out to Marcus Cavallo. Marcus Cavallo on the right flank of Tempo, being challenged there by Salgoka left back Rock Pereira. Still keeps the ball, comes inside, gives the Shantakuma back towards his Xavier Colasso, swings it across to his to Francis Barua, the left back, inside the day. Salgoka half, but Camilo paints the traffic well. Ball rises up, and Robin goes was has a chance to. Uh, go for a clearance and the ball goes off uh, I think Domingo was off um, Domingo was and Camilo for a throw-in for Salgauka. Salgauka takes a throw-in from over 25 yards in the corner flag. It's Edwin who throws the ball back to Sidi as Francis Silvera rushes into Sidi but Sidi gets the ball first, picks it up and then comes to the top of the box and clears it down the right flank and Uday Kona cleverly lets it go and Baru also is put up, put off the ball there and as both chase the ball, the ball goes off uh, Uday Kona put over the goal line for a goal kick. Play in the, been progressed for half an hour in the second half and Tempo, apart from the field, the first two, two, um, two half chances were cleared, two chances were cleared, they were not been very much into the attack, not been very threatening and Salgaoka has been able to hold to the lead fairly comfortably and from that cross by Travasso, Barua has to away to deny Kona, ball comes to Domingo's watch who crosses it, here Christopher clears it with the left foot, comes into midfield to Camilo Gonzalez, but this time cleared away by Frankie Barrett to the Sal Salgaoka right stopper, back towards uh, uh, Peter Fernandez. The, and so Robert Fernandez of course. Robert Fernandez to Rock Pereira. Rock Pereira to he's still with the ball being challenged. Marcus Cavallo keeps the ball there, clears to, kicks it to Bruno Coutinho, Bruno Coutinho. Now with the ball, takes a left footed shot as he runs and he's, he's being hurried from behind by Xavier Colasso. Takes a quick shot from over 25 yards, left footed shot and it goes off at the Kata for a corner kick for Salgauka. Salgauka leading by the goal which Bruno Coutinho scored in the fifth minute. Incidentally, Salgaka did not qualify for the Super League among the top five teams in the Goa League, whereas Dempo finished second in the Super League. And here, Salgaka are leading Dempo by a solitary goal. Coutinho, Coutinho to, Coutinho to Travasso. Travasso comes inside, takes a hasty shot shot, uh, half shot and half cross, and the ball goes beyond the far post, out for a goal kick. See here, uh, Tempo not looking very energetic at all. They are preparing two other substitutes. Their trainer, Katsuri Almeida, a former player, a left back and goer player, preparing the Tempo substitutes by the touchline here to go in. He will have to change the players now if he has to bring in more urgency into the there is Bruno Coutinho offside. Bruno Coutinho and Uday Kona came together with, on a combined move, short move there from the left there. Coutinho gave it to Kona and as Kona with uh, Barua coming, closing in on him, relayed the ball at short diagonal forward 
but Coutinho had run too far, a little forward back in, ahead of the defence, so he scored offside. Otherwise, it could have brought in another goal for Salgaka if if 